Cook Islands Vacation Guide Gorgeous and culturally diverse, the Cook Islands is a unique and fascinating destination. This tropical haven is home to crystal clear waters perfect for snorkeling, diving, kayaking, and swimming. This is an unspoiled paradise complete with white sand beaches, blue lagoons, and lush green mountains. Despite its status as an island nation, it is also a popular vacation spot for city slickers seeking a change of scenery. Are you planning your next vacation to Cook Islands? In this video, we will explore the Cook Islands as well as various destinations that will provide you with the best vacation experience. Use our Cook Islands travel guide to organize your vacation, cut costs, and make the most of your time in this paradise. Hey there! If you're new here, welcome to our channel. We provide vacation travel guides for some of the most adventurous regions around the world. In this video, we'll be providing a travel guide for anyone planning to explore the Cook Islands. Before we begin, please hit those like and subscribe buttons below to help our channel grow. Culture of the Cook Islands the Cook Islands are a group of 15 islands in the South Pacific Ocean, making up a country with a total area of over 1,800,000 square kilometers, with a culture that reflects the traditions of the individual islands. While the islands are named after 18th century British explorer Captain James Cook, Polynesians from Tahiti began settling in the Cook Islands in the 6th century. The culture and customs of the islands are a product of the many peoples that have lived there over the centuries. Te vai vai, a form of quilting, is an important tradition among women and may be seen in garments, sarongs, and jewelry made using local goods like shells. The Cook Islands Government's Culture Division is responsible for defending and archiving the country's cultural history. The Ariki, the historical chiefs in the social structure of the islands are accorded respect and limited power by the House of Ariki. Ura is a sacred ritual dance from the Cook Islands. Typically, a woman performs it while five or more men beat on drums to accompany her as she tells the story. Make sure to attend an island night celebration, which combines traditional dancing with an umukai, a buffet-style feast. Fresh fish like octopus or clams, lamb or suckling pig, and fresh fruit, notable coconut, are staples on the Cook Islands menus. We especially recommend that you savor local staples like ikamata, marinated raw fish, and poke, a pudding-like dish made with tropical fruit at a local market. The Cook Islands use the New Zealand dollar, but you may occasionally be given your change in Cook Islands cents and dollars. These have the same value, but be sure to spend all of this currency before leaving the country since it cannot be exchanged anywhere else in the world. Traveling to the Cook Islands Visiting the Cook Islands just got easier with flights now available via Auckland or Tahiti. In fact, New Zealanders love visiting the Cook Islands so much that the airport in Rarotonga receives multiple weekly flights from Auckland and Christchurch. Most other parts of the Cook Islands can only be accessed via Air Rarotonga, domestic flights departing from Rarotonga. If you wish to visit one of the more distant islands, you must plan ahead because aircraft schedules vary with the seasons and may only operate once a month. It takes about 40 minutes to fly from Rarotonga to Aitutaki, the second most popular island. Only the islands of Manihiki, Penryn, and Puka Puka in the northern group have airports. The Cook Islands are too far apart to easily travel by boat compared to Pacific Islands like French Polynesia or Hawaii. The only way to cross the water is on a private boat or one of the few slow cargo ships, as there are no ferries. However, small boat transportation is available between some islands and nearby islets and other islands. In the Cook Islands, there are no branded resorts, no buildings taller than a coconut tree, no crowds, and no stoplights. Yet, the islands offer modern conveniences and undiscovered luxury 
with a wide range of accommodation options and activities for every type of traveler. Best time to visit. It's a beautiful tropical environment all year round, and the best time to visit depends on your personal preference. The Cook Islands are located in the equatorial Pacific Ocean and have a mild tropical climate. However, the 15 individual islands have a wide range of weather conditions. Since it is further south and away from the equator, Rarotonga normally has cooler weather than Aitutaki. Southern Hemisphere winter June through August is the most popular time to visit because during this time of the year, the islands are sunny and pleasant. At night, you could get chilly, so bring a sweater or a light jacket. In the Cook Islands, cyclone season is from November to March. High humidity, rain, wind, and gloomy sky and seas might result from surrounding weather patterns, even if cyclones don't directly impact the islands. Between September to October and March to May, the Cook Islands experience their shoulder seasons. While temperatures are comfortable, precipitation is more likely than in the busier winter months. During July to October, humpback whales can often be seen from the Rarotonga foreshore. The whales come from Antarctica to the warmer waters of the Cook Islands to mate, give birth, and rest. The Cook Islands exclusive zone has been formally declared a whale sanctuary. Which islands to choose? Rarotonga. Rarotonga has the most developed and popular tourism infrastructure and attractions among the Cook Islands. The warmth of the tropical sun surrounds you. The scent of the frangipani washes over you. The most pressing decision that you face should you climb the summit of the island's majestic volcanic peak or explore the crystal clear turquoise waters and swim with the schools of tropical fish? The only international airport serving the Cook Islands is located on Rarotonga, making it the perfect gateway destination for new travelers. Hire a rental car or jump on the back of a scooter and enjoy the wind on your face as you cruise around the island. It takes just 45 minutes to drive around the whole island, so you'll never feel like you're stuck in the same spot. Aitutaki Although smaller, Aitutaki offers a variety of places to stay and things to do. Aitutaki is home to approximately 1,800 people and the world's most beautiful lagoon. It's only a 15-minute flight from Rarotonga. Secluded and romantic, 15 islets are sprinkled across this huge turquoise sunlit lagoon. Air Rarotonga offers an Aitutaki day tour experience from Rarotonga, including transfers, airfares, a lagoon cruise, snorkeling, and lunch. Aitutaki offers a variety of activities, including cultural shows called Island Nights, water sports, excellent dining, and relaxing spa treatments. Atu. Atu is only a quick 45-minute flight from Rarotonga and Aitutaki with Air Rarotonga. Home to approximately 400 proud warrior people, there are few untouched places left in the world like Atu. Over 8 million years old, our largest island is one big adventure playground, ancient and unspoiled. Rich in culture and history, Atu is an echo lover's paradise. With no nightclubs, virtually no township, and a couple of cafes along with precious little traffic, this is a true escape. Life is pretty much the same as it was some 25 years ago and therefore offers a really genuine insight into island living with its five small villages. Gardens thrive on Atu's rich soil and on certain days, the soft aroma of organically grown coffee beans roasting wafts pass from plantations that produce some of the best Arabica coffee in the Pacific. Mangaya Mangaya is steeped in legend and mystique. Estimated at 18 million years old, it is one of the oldest islands in the Pacific. Mangaya is only a 40-minute flight from Rarotonga with Air Rarotonga. With a volcanic plateau framed by a ring of high fossilized coral cliffs, Mangaya's remarkable natural beauty, serenity, 
and ancient artifacts have captured the hearts and minds of archaeologists and anthropologists for generations. Mangaya is the perfect place for those wanting to explore and experience life in one of nature's most fascinating and secluded locations. Tourists come to this area to go down and explore the cave system with the help of local guides. Attractive rock pools, freshwater lakes, imposing cliffs and vegetation are further highlights of this area. Other things to see and do in the Cook Islands. Take a fishing trip. With translucent waters, tropical temperatures, and pristine reefs dropping sharply into the Pacific Ocean, this is an angler's paradise. From tossing a line in the shallows or venturing into the deep blue, all year round is a good time to try your luck. Fly fishing, lagoon fishing, and spear fishing, and all types of boat fishing are popular. The Cook Islands are home to some of the world's best prospects for deep sea fishing. Wahoo, barracuda, dolphinfish, yellowfin, skipjack tuna, sailfish, marlin, and mahi mahi thrive in this area because the currents, reefs, and marine topography work together to create optimal conditions. Go kayaking! Around Muri Beach, located on the island of Rarotonga, the water is exceptionally clear, making it an ideal location for snorkeling and kayaking. Paddling around the protected lagoon surrounding Rarotonga on a kayak is a stress-free and easy way to see the sights. Ariki Adventures on Rarotonga has introduced an all-new experience to view marine life and coral formations with guided glass-bottom kayak tours. The glass-bottom kayaks are modified so the usual plastic base is replaced with clear viewing glass. Visit the Aitutaki Marine Research Center. This modest research facility is dedicated to rehabilitating marine animals, including green sea turtles and gigantic clams, as part of its work on marine restoration projects. During your tour of the facility, you will have the opportunity to look closely at some aquatic creatures and hear more about the research conducted at the center. Even though there is no charge to enter, they rely entirely on donations, so if you can, please be as helpful as you can. Shop at Punanga Nui Market On Saturday mornings, this market in Rarotonga is the place to be if you want something to do. It is teeming with businesses that sell locally manufactured handicrafts, jewelry, artwork, and even ukuleles that have been crafted by hand. Black pearls, mined in the outer islands, and sold in a variety of trinket forms are one of the most popular products. The Cook Islanders are known for their eight-string ukuleles and slit drums, making these musical instruments very popular souvenirs. The Punanga Nui Market offers a wide range of different dishes. Whether it's chicken, kebabs, wraps, fries, grilled lamb, pancakes, waffles, or the famous chicken rice with mushroom sauce, there's something for everyone. Various types of locally grown Rarotonga fruits and vegetables are available here. The most common are bananas, starfruit, passion fruit, tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers, watermelon, and mangoes. Visit the Arai Tatanga Marai. The remains of an ancient royal court and the most important Marai site on the island can be found not far from Rarotonga. This historic and sacred site consists of several stone structures forming a kotu or royal court where Maori chiefs were inaugurated. It was constructed in 1250 CE and is characterized by huge stone pillars and a platform of around 10 feet. Even though most of the land has become overgrown, it is still a good place to go to to get a feel for the historical past. Take a food tour through local homes. The Progressive Dinner in Rarotonga is one of the most unique cultural dining experiences in the Cook Islands. Guests on this tour will have the opportunity to visit three local homes, enjoying a different course at each home. A small string band will also follow along the way, providing authentic island music and fun entertainment. Led by Cook Islands Tours, you'll be picked up from your accommodation and taken to the first home of the evening 
where everyone will enjoy a tour of the first host's home garden. After the tour, you'll have your first course of the night before moving on to the next house for the main course. Here at the second home, guests will be treated to a buffet feast featuring popular local Cook Islands dishes. Then, your dessert hosts will treat you to fresh-picked fruit, sweet treats, and Atu Island brewed coffee. See the sunset at Black Rock. The best site to view the sunset on Rarotonga is Black Rock, located on the island's northern coast. Black Rock Beach is historically and culturally important to the people of Rarotonga. Facing northwest and receiving all-day sun, the lagoon area is a popular aqua playground. The prominent black rocks serve as diving platforms into the rock pools below. Black Rock is also the home of Rarotonga's only golf course, as well as the tennis center and beach volleyball courts. The famous black rock stands out dramatically against the glowing orange sky during the evening. If you scale to the peak, you'll be rewarded with a breathtaking panoramic view of the sea below. Highland Paradise Cultural Tour the Highland Paradise Cultural Tour takes you high up into the rugged mountains of Rarotonga to an open-air museum, showcasing evidence of a historical lost village and the survival of the Polynesian people. The tour allows visitors to relive Polynesian life, including demonstrations of cultural activities such as coconut husking and traditional cooking. This experience allows visitors to wander through the center at their own pace taking in the entertaining DVD theater, souvenir shop, and best of all, the tasting of local delicacies. Muri Lagoon Morning Cruise Muri Lagoon is located on the eastern side of Rarotonga and boasts clear turquoise waters and a host of marine life. On this cruise, you will be taken from the white sandy beach out onto the lagoon in a glass bottom boat for a morning on the water. Snorkel and swim among tropical fish in the marine conservation site and view the giant clams which lay far below. On board, the crew will keep you entertained with some traditional ukulele playing, coconut husking and weaving. And a fish barbecue is served on Koromiri Island before the boat returns on the beach. That sums up our travel guide for your next adventure on the Cook Islands. If you enjoyed the video and you want to watch more videos like this, show your support by hitting those like and subscribe buttons below. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you have any recommendations for future videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay tuned for more soon.